good day good followers i hope you are all keeping well and safe uh we're back with another comprehensive video today this one's going to be a little bit longer because we've got a lot more products to look after uh, first of all uh, we are going to do this on a weekly basis so next week we're going to probably do two videos one for our event day next week wednesday and then a comprehensive um, tool uh, tool list that we're going to have for the event day uh, so have a look out and keep an eye out on the website and on the web on the youtube channel the youtube channel will go live today so i'm going to load the two this video and the previous video on on youtube today hopefully if everything goes well so first of all um we are a small tool company tool supplier for most of your workshop automotive tools and um we're based in Pretoria, but we do deliver quite uh, quite to the other regions as well like Victoria, Joburg, Midrand, Ritz, Rustenburg and we have a couple of clients in, in Limpopo. We've sent a couple of a couple of items to down to the Cape as well so we do have quite a following on Facebook as well so please follow us on Facebook and on YouTube and I will try and do this every week where we can do our a comprehensive tool tool check so first of all um, we have a couple of tools here a couple of items that you can look at today that's basic th basic things that you need for when you're in a workshop or when you're starting out on starting out to get a workshop going uh, first of all uh, we have your lighting systems basically this is a portable rechargeable light it's got a two-year warranty on it actually a very decent product uh, it's um, got a battery size of 100, 1,800 newton meters and like you can see it swivels, it's magnetic, it's got two magnetic points down here at the bottom which you can put onto any metal surface especially like a bonnet or anything and then you can just twist the light so that it can help you out. It's got two functions, it's got the LED light here at the right here which you can see like a light here and then it's got the cob, basically that light there. It's 120 lumens, so yeah, quite a bright little light. And like I said, it's got a 1,800 uh, milliamp battery. So basically it's rechargeable. It's got your normal mini USB there, and then it's got a USB. And this you get a cable with where you can charge your cell phones. And basically cell phones, the new cell phone charges, the C type the b-type and then for the apples for the people who have the apple phones or the iphone sorry so yeah this is also a very good a good quality product really well priced at the moment comments at the bottom i will communicate with you to give you the prices and it is currently on special at the moment it's on promotion so please have a look out for this it's really decently priced okay then we're moving on basic tools Basically, I had, a lot of people will ask me, what is this? And a lot of mechanics will tell you exactly what this is. Some people call it a breaker bar. Some people get, call it a power bar or a flex handle. The commonly used name is a power bar. This is a 350 millimeter one. This is a sh one of the shorter ones that you can get. They are shorter but they're not as effective as your longer ones. You get up to a 600 millimeters. I do have in stock of the 600 millimeters. So you can have a look at this. This is a half inch drive. So basically what it means is the normal, a lot of people call it the standard size. So you can put this on like, for instance, if you have a very difficult nut, it gives you that little bit of a give just to get that, that stubborn nut loose. So that, that's what we call a lot of people call it a power bar so we do do these as well these are very popular as well especially the guys who doesn't want to use a lot of air tools or power tools um, to loosen up stub stubborn bolts or nuts so and you don't need to use an impact impact socket on this uh, i will touch base on impact sockets and in the near future then i'll explain the difference between an impact socket and normal sockets or normal chrome sockets so please Keep an eye out for those i will tell you about those because it will probably be in next week's show or next week's video 
then I'll show you what uh, the difference is between an impact socket and a normal socket. These, this is basically just a little bit of education for the people who don't know their tools that well. There are people out there that doesn't know the name of this product because they've never used it and they never needed it. But sometimes you do need this for a stubborn wheel bolt or a wheel nut or a head bolt or any sort of suspension, suspension bolt that's difficult to lose. You use this if you can't get an air wrench or a battery operated impact wrench in into that little space. Okay, then second of all, next on the list is a soldering iron. These are basically used for a lot of purposes, like for instance in electronical, uh, communications, even in, in the motor industry we do use these as well. So do these are very handy, especially if you're doing DIY work and everything at home. So please have a look at this as well. Hit the comment line. We will help you out and we can give you the good options as well. These are one of your cheaper range. Uh, they, they're just over 100 Rand or so. So have a look at it. There are a lot of options out there where you can have more industrial type. This is more DIY type not for every day some people do use it every day but they go through it very quickly so remember always right by the right application so this is a diy application so please have a look at these as well if you're doing it from time to time okay then next on the list is a digital multimeter uh, let me just get the glare off there sorry about that a digital multimeter this is also basically for electronic work uh, telecommunications um, motor motor industry as well so basically it's a very commonly used product um, this is still in its wrapping so I'm not going to un unwrap it too too much and then you get your connectors as well so the ranges are basically ohms volts amps and I'm not exactly sure it's got an on and off battery you do get batteries with it so yeah you don't get a surprise when you buy it and you don't have batteries so don't worry it's got a lacquer handy stand at the back here so that you can stand it up and keep it one side and read it off while you're doing other readings while you're busy while your hands are busy getting the wires connected to all of the points that you need to check so this one is also available at us please have a look at it it's a very basic one it's entry level so it's more for DIY or intermediate use so please always always remember it is um, right application buy the right application and you'll have the have the best service okay then this is not a new product on the market but it's not very commonly used basically this is a brake pad measuring tool uh, most of your Ford dealerships Land Rovers and VW's use this product this is basically to measure your brake, brake pad thickness. It comes from all the way from 12 all the way down to 2 millimeters. 2 millimeters are your lowest point safely. From here, from 3 to 2 millimeters, that is when you actually need to start replacing your wheel, your, your brake pads. These are basically color coded. So green means go, yellow means you need to start looking out and red needs means replace it immediately so please have a look at these these are also available at us please hit us a comment line like i said it's not very commonly used yet but the dealerships are starting to look at this product a lot of companies especially if you do have a car that's under motor warranty or anything like that they want a physical measure of your brake pads so if your technician or your workshop needs these please give me give us a, a comment on our comment line okay then another one on the on the list is your chisel set or punch set some people call it a chisel set punch set cold chisels basically it ranges from your chisels it's 175 millimeters by 16 150 by 13 and then 150 by 10 and there's a very small one there 100 millimeters by 7 millimeters then you have your pin punches which is which are these you'll see they they are basically called a pin punch this is basically to hit a pipe out or anything like that out of another 
another circular, um, circular point. Then you have your center punch, which is a normal center punch, which you use on the metal to basically get the center. And then you can either drill or put a screw in or something like that. And then you have your normal drives, drive punches. These are basically to drive like wells plugs out of an engine or any any sort of any sort of product like that where you need to drive it out like for instance a stud that's stuck or anything like that you use a driver driver punch that is from three millimeters to five millimeters so you can have a look at these these are the midco ones midco is a very good quality product and and it comes with a little pouch as well so if you unpack it you can put all of your chisels and your pin punches and your driver punches into a nice little pouch and then you can actually keep it nice and tidy inside your toolbox okay then we're coming to the more automotive side of the business this if you don't know what this is this is basically a timing tool or cam locking tool for some people who don't know what it is it's basically for when you do your cam belt or your cam chain on a engine this product is for the Ford Ranger and Mazda BT 50 2.2 and 3.2 so basically it comes in a kit like this and we sell it like a kit like this so please have a look at this as well hit us on the line or hit us on the comment line we do carry these as a stock item so please give us a shot and we'll deliver it as quickly as possible comes in a nice sturdy blow case so it you can put it nicely on a shelf and mark it and say this is a Ford Ranger kit. A very popular kit. The guys like it because it's well priced and is not deadly. Okay, then next on the timing tools or cam locking tools. This is for the Polo Vivo or 1.2, 1.4 and 1.6 TSI belt driven. Basically also comes in a little time in a blow case. That's basically how it looks on the, on the back side. It's got your TDC shaft where you put a dial gauge in and you get TDC. The, the pulley, pulley lock bolt and then another locking pin. This is also available, really well priced, very popular as well because there's so many Polo Vivos on the road. The guys do need to tend to change their cam belts every five years or 100,000 kilometers. We are not, not done yet, so please bear in mind we have two more items to go through and then we're all done. Then we're all done. Basically, we have another option, another toolbox here today. Basically, a decent product, but more on a DIY side. I'm going to move the camera closer and I'm going to angle it so that you guys can see what we have here today. Basically, it's a very very nice little toolbox especially for DIY and light light work so please you have your pliers set here from your long nose let me just take it out of the plastic so you guys can see it got a nice rubber handle and this is your combination plier with the sturdy rubber handle then you have your side cutter basically it says exactly what it is it's a side cutter and it cuts wires and helps with wiring and all of that stuff. Then you have your long nose plier, or some people call it a pinch plier. Also sturdy rubber handle and sturdy product. Then we have the ratchets and socket set. Okay, basically it starts all the way from a quarter inch from your five millimeter, which is the quarter inch up to your 13 millimeter so that's your quarter inch and then on the three quarter of the 3 8 side you get your little adapter from 3 8 to quarter inch and then your 3 8 starts from 8 millimeters right through to 22 millimeters you'll see it's a six point socket again it's not a bi -hex hexagon socket so have a look at that a 45 teeth quick release ratchet 3 8 3 8 drive also comfortable soft grip handle then you have your 16 millimeter uh, spark plug socket and then you have a 21 millimeter spark plug socket 
also six point not multi-point then you have a little two inch extension bar also three eighths which basically hooks in there to extend your reach oh dear okay so guys this is basically the sockets and the ratchets and the extension bars please have a look at that and then we're going back down to the rest of the toolbox basically you'll see sorry let me just move it back a little bit okay so you have a stanley knife or a car a carpet knife with extra blades a, a tester screwdriver basically a circuit tester it's got a little light in it and you connect a wire there and you just connect it to one of your earth or positive points and then a little light pops up and then you then you can see if there's a current running and then a water pump plier an adjustable water pump plier so also like i said then you have your screwdrivers you have three star screwdrivers from your ph2 100 millimeters down to your smallest which is the ph0 75 millimeters then you have your three flat screwdrivers six millimeters by 100 millimeters and then right down to your three by 75 millimeters so if you don't know what that means it's basically the size of your heads that they qualify that they that they talk about then we have spanners here from a size 19 right through to a size uh, I think it is a size 6 so you have a complete spanner set there it doesn't go all the way to a 30 size 32 a lot of the toolboxes don't go to that size because of the amount of spanners that you need and it takes up quite a lot of space then you have a little shifting a little five inch shifting small one but it goes up to about a 20 uh, 20 uh, 21 um, size nut then you have a set of allen keys that start from 1.5 millimeters right through to six millimeters then you have torx which starts from t8 right through to t t40 so that is basically a 77 piece toolbox we do carry these as well so give us a hit on the comment line and we can have a quick chat they are at a great price at the moment so just give us a holler and we will have a chat with you in the comment line please place your orders while stocks last as well and it's a product called pro tools there you go so guys this is going to be the last one so bear in mind we're going to be done just now this is the next one on the on the table it's a 172 piece half inch 3 8 and quarter inch drive socket ratchet tool set so it's a 172 piece comes with a range of sockets tube sockets or deep sockets let me just put it quite clear deep sockets comes in a very sturdy blow case let me just quickly pull off the paper so we don't damage it and the product is called Carlos or Carolos and is a product by Godot. So you do have the have the backing from from Godot with this product. So please look at this product. So do you have a lifetime warranty on it? Like you can see, it comes with all of your some on the top row starts with a quarter inch four millimeter deep socket right through to 10 millimeters then 10 millimeters 3 8 drive and it is a six point here it's nice and sturdy in the box like you can see it's a six point again let me see. sturdy quality and then it's up to a 15 millimeter and 3 8 drive then from a half inch drive it's 16 millimeters to 22 millimeters basically all of the populars popular sizes then at the bottom here you have your quarter inch drive bit socket set basically it starts with a t8 socket or torx 8 socket all the way to a t30 then you'll see there's another set of torx bit sockets but these we call the tamper proof which has got a little hole in it i'll show you the difference between the two if you can see this one has got a hole in it we call it a tamper proof 
This you'd mainly use in uh, auto, in electronics, uh, communications, and computers, and a lot of your electronics as well. This is mainly used in automotive where it's a solid bit. Then from there, we have the screwdriver bits, also flat from T uh, from uh, your four millimeter flat right through to your seven millimeter flat. So basically it looks like that. And it's got the quarter inch set there. Then your pH zero to pH, oh, sorry, PZ, sorry, PZ zero to PZ two. Then at the bottom here, we have the pH zero and then the P to the pH two. Then here from where the tamper proof Torx stops, we have your hexagon bits basically hexagon is another name for allen keys so we have from a three millimeter right through to a six millimeter bit set then at the top here we have your allen key set from a 1.5 millimeter to right through to a six millimeter very popular then we have a sliding t handle which basically helps you to get a bit more of a it's a little power bar if we can put it like that then your little extension there this is your long four inch extension bar quarter inch then we move down to the bottom i just want to quickly move this a little bit sorry guys girls everybody let's quickly have a look here okay so basically this is the run through now then we have your sockets ranging from four millimeters right around to your 32 millimeters to a half inch drive see six point socket very good quality product this you won't go wrong with this product high high end products okay then you'll see basically at the bottom here um, before i get to all of this you have a bit set here guys this is similar to this here at the top here but basically how this works so it's going to quickly move this a little bit you have basically a socket like this we call it a bit holder remember in the previous previous video we had the total tools basically you make it into that but for your certain drives for let's say if it's a three eight quarter inch or half inch then you make like a bit socket so that is also very handy especially if you do need to swap around with a lot of different tools and everything and you have to run around between a lot of different sockets and everything and it's easier to just remove a bit and put it in so if you look at the bit set we're going to start here again you're starting right through from your 30s so if you're 40 t40 talks 40 so if you remember right we stopped at t30 at the bits uh, bit sockets here at the top so now we're starting from uh, from here with the bigger bits right through from t40 right through to t70 I'm going to say honestly, this is one of the biggest ones I've seen in a bit. So basically, yet again, you just pop it in there and you have a sturdy bit socket there, which you can put onto an extension bar or a little power bar or anything like that. Okay, so that's on the torque bits. Then we have the tamper proof torque bits again, starting from T40 right through to T70. And remember what I said, guys, here you can see it clearly. Here's a normal T70 and here's a T70 tamper proof. See the hole there. And like I said, you use that mainly in your telecommunications. And these are your screwdriver bits. Look at that big one. Nice sturdy size. This one, this is a 12 millimeter. Those are for those stubborn, stubborn nuts for the, to holding your disc wheel discs in place and then you have your smaller bits here as well but very interestingly enough you'll see there's a bunch of different ones these we call a square torque bit um, some people call it a right bit but the right bit is a five point point socket or five point um, bit then you have a bit of spline sockets here that's your more finer type spline basically it's basically what it says it's a spline a spline bit then you have also here we go here's your ripe bits these are a five point bit 
star point some people call it but it's a square type and you can see it's got a tamper proof up until t8 t7 oh that's that's your talk bits so you'll see there's smaller talk bits up until to a t5 that's very small that you use in cell phones so up until there it is your talk bits and then you have your rack bits there which is a five point square bit and yet again you can use them into one of these sockets here to have a bit socket then right here at the bottom here where we go, right here at the bottom we have your e sockets or female torque sockets have a look at that if i can give you a comparison look here guys that we call a male torque or just a normal torques a lot of guys speak in talks so look there and look there so that one basically starts all the way from a e4 right through to e24 quite a big one this one then we're moving over to your to your business end of this of the of the side of the tools basically extension bar with a little adapter here for oh that's awesome it's an all it's an adapter from a three eighths to a half inch so that's actually very awesome so and you can use this as a sliding t handle basically to have a little power bar if i can put it like that it's a 10 inch uh, extension bar which act as a sliding t handle then guys we getting to the other part of the the story we have your half inch five inch extension bar and then your three eight six inch um, extension bar you'll see in this set you don't have a lot of options on ex uh, on on um, accessories especially when it comes to your three eights your three eights is your middle one that's basically what you use to get into smaller places but you still have a bit more space for a bigger socket or a bigger ratchet then your two inch um, extension bar for your quarter inch and then we have if you guys remember last week we also had the universal joints in the other two sets in the half inch size and in the and the total tools the quarter inch so this is a half inch drive uh, universal joint it is exactly what it says it's a universal joint as you get into those hard to reach areas where you need to have a bit of flex on your socket or on your on your ratchet so that you can get into it into a point where you where you can't get into the point or into straight into the area where you need to go into okay so you have those in your half inch half inch drive three eighths drive and then your quarter inch drive so basically that helps you to get into those hard to reach areas especially in conjunction with an extension bar then we're getting to the, the the spark plug sockets again guys remember you get this as a standard in most of your tool kits this is your 18 millimeter six point spark plug socket you'll see some of them has got an area where you can put a socket on uh, like for instance this one uses a 21 millimeter socket as to just to get a little bit of extra leverage on it or if you want to put a spanner on it so this is to basically if you can't get a, a ratchet or anything like that in there or the space is so that you can only put a, a spanner in there so you can put a spanner on that so you get it in 16 millimeters and your standard 21 millimeters so these are your standard options on most of your toolboxes then guys we're getting to the ratchets these are very decent quality ratchets like i said it is a product by Godot. very sturdy rubber handle soft handle 72 t so it's a very fine fine ratchet on the inside always remember especially with the ratchets like these always double check once a week just take your torx bit socket or your torx bit and just tighten them a little bit so that they can so they don't fall out and then you don't have to have unnecessary breakages on your tools so like i said this is a quarter inch one the small baby one then you have your three eights also a 72 teeth 
quick release and your your fasten and release uh, fasten and loosen uh, a swivel button and then we down to a half inch drive as well also 72 listen to that that is nice and fine teeth in there so it gives you a little bit more of a small angle to work with to have more leverage to to get the to get the the nuts loosened so guys that is the 72 piece slash Godot set that you can look at some people have rebranded these as the Godot brand so like I said you do have a lifetime warranty on this sorry for the extended video today but that is basically it today I'm just gonna quickly sit down so thank you very much for your time and thank you for watching I really do appreciate it and remember follow us on Facebook we do have an online store as well where you can purchase most of the products and if you don't see it there please comment send us a message on the messenger send a messenger button and then we can quickly help you out i will communicate directly to you if you need anything um so go have a look at our online store we do offer that option where you can sit in the in the comfort of your home and shop at home so give us a like on facebook and remember guys i'm going to hit the youtube youtube page so please have a look at the youtube page and the videos will be going on to the youtube page sorry for the long video again and guys please keep safe especially over the over the festive season please be safe and we'll see each other soon and um please mask up and keep your distance I want you to carry on watching these videos even if you're at home and you have the COVID have a look at our videos and look at our products shop online and we can arrange a delivery for you have a good day and hope to see you soon bye